Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a bit of luxury goods shopping. I have a birthday gift to buy and I know some people can be intimidated by places like Harry Winston or Gucci, Hermes, uh, Tiffany and Company. Mm, I'm trying to think of who else. Just Cartier, places like that. I think the movies have inculc inculcated us into this idea that you can't walk into Tiffany's unless you can spend $30,000 there. And it's just not true. You can find some very nice, uh, inexpensive gifts. And I'm what I've done right here is that I've just done a search for Sterling. And then I'm going to sort by, and I chose Tiffany because it's just the easiest... It has the easiest website of them all, and from the price shopping that I've done, it kind of has the lower rates in terms of entry level pricing. And what you can, what I've done is I've sorted low to high. I've looked for sterling silver, and as you can see, the least expensive thing they have is forty dollars. That's your entry level price into Tiffany's, $40. The trick is to do some online browsing first, find what you want to purchase or find a couple of items that you're interested in. There's this chain in sterling silver, which I like, but I feel like it's, let me click on it a little bit. I like it, but I kind of feel like it's a chain that anybody could get from anywhere. What I'm looking for is something that's inexpensive, beautiful, very high quality, and different. Something that someone might remark upon for that person, and then that person can say, oh, a friend bought it for me, it's from Tiffany's, or what have you. And this, I don't think, I just don't think this does that. So what? I am going to purchase, but it's $50 at 18 inches. Also, something to note with Tiffany's, let me see if I can't get back in here. The 20 inch chain is $65. And we did the 18 inch chain. The 16 inch chain is also $50. $50. So there's really no difference in price between the the 16 inch and the 18 inch. And I would suggest just getting the 18 inch because you get more bang for your buck. However, what I'm going to go in and purchase is... Oh, what happened? Oh, it took me back to the $65 one. Now it's back to the 20 inch. Let's go back again. I am going to purchase this one. I think this is perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Something a little bit more unique, still in that very inexpensive price range. But when you gift the Tiffany and Company blue box, that ubiquitous blue box, everyone knows that it's high quality. This would make a very good... Um, big birthday gift for someone, if someone hits a milestone birthday, if someone has a graduation, that kind of thing. And as you can see, the 16 inch and the 18 inch will be the same price. I'm not going to get either one of those. I happen to know that the Beverly Hills branch has the 16 inch. The Santa Monica branch has the 18 inch, but I'm going to go to the Topanga one, which has a 24 inch. So the 24 inch is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's going to sit lower on the body and it's just going to look more significant. And this is the oval link chain. At 18 inches, it's $50. At 16 inches, it's $50. And then it goes up a bit in price. I'm going to click on it so that you can get a little bit more detail. Oh, I didn't need to click. Fantastic. You can get a little bit more detail in terms of what it looks like. And after I come back from the boutique, I will 
give you more of a close-up of what it looks like in person. But I also wanted to show you, where are these other ones? Where'd they go? There's a ball link necklace that I also want to look at. And this is just kind of for me. Um, where is it? Here it is. Small beaded chain in sterling silver. I want to take a look at this as well because I see that, oh, as you can see, I have the beaded bracelet from Tiffany's that I'm wearing right now. This is the 10 millimeter. And I just kind of want to see what this looks like in person. If it looks a little too small or it kind of looks like that chandelier chain that you have for your light fixture. And so I want to take a look at it in person first before I try and purchase it either online or in person. And I highly recommend this, the beaded 10 millimeter bracelet as something that is baby proof. That's very, I should do a video on baby proof jewelry. I really should. Something that, you know, the baby can grab onto and not break. My son, when he was a baby, he broke all of my jewelry <laughs> until I started buying uh, things that would be a little bit more durable. And this has lasted through my son and now I have a daughter and she hasn't been able to break this either and she's about six months old. But I'll let you know when I get back. Here is the bag that everything came in. The essay, I believe her name was Gabby. Let me try and show you on the receipt. I always show the receipt when I can. You can see the price. She was very helpful. There we go. can see it's got a little card holder for the gift receipt which is also in here and then regular receipt but since it's a gift I'm not going to put the regular receipt in there there it is in the bag oh that's from Cartier <laughs> keep doing that here we go the ubiquitous Tiffany blue box. Very nicely bowed. And I'm going to try and get this off without messing up said bow so that it can be nice when I gift it. And just so that you can see inside of the box, and this is the, it's a little more spongy than most jewelry boxes have on the inside. I'm not sure when they changed that. I have some more jewelry from them and it doesn't have that same sponge. But let's take a look at the chain itself. Very delicate. 24 inch chain. And so it will sit further down along the body. And will just look a little bit more significant than the 16 or 18 inch chain. And this is what it looks like. Let me put it on the neck form so that you can see. See if I can get a little bit more in focus here for you. Here's a close-up so that you can see the links more clearly. I 
I like this length because it gives you so many options. If you wanted to wear this as a three strand bracelet, you could easily do so. It's a little bit large on me, but I have small wrists. And in addition, you can always take the clasp and because it's this chain design, you can simply clasp it a little bit closer and have one of the ends hanging a little. And therefore it's adjustable. And there you go, the oval chain link necklace. Bye.